June 11th against these Giants. And strikes him out off speed. Chris Stewart will throw to first to complete the strikeout. And he hits this fly ball toward right center field deep. And Brandon Belt indeed starting to come on. That's his ninth home run of the season, and it gives the Giants a 1 0 lead in the first. Played umpire, looked back at the pitcher, looked at the catcher, grinned. This ball hit high to right field. Snyder going to be waved home. Hunter Pence's throw toward the plate is going to be off the mark. McCutcheon gets the RBI to tie the game and goes to second on the throw. Line to left field. That will bring home McCutcheon. Marte into second base, rips a double to left, and the Pirates take a 2 1 lead. Absolutely blistered that ball. Derek Cole, his seventh start. And he takes care of Sanchez with his second K. Boy, the guy's going to be safe every time. That's pretty much what they have asked Posey to do since his I mean, return. Now, no, sir, strikes if, if you didn't have the replays and the umpires will give you the okay, the ball beats you, see you're out. Kind of by surprise. Can you remember another ball yeah. bouncing no, in the dirt? Nope. Line to right field by Travis Snyder. This is going to score a couple runs. Travis Snyder, two run single, gives the Pirates a 4 1 second inning lead. Down in the zone where you're comfortable at hitting it. Oh, down on strikes he goes. He certainly they did Cameron and, and yeah and yeah. right played on the on the Brooklyn Dodgers. We were talking about that that maybe Glenn Cameron's uh, record for assists by a pitcher. Red Cameron. Uh, Red Cameron. What, what would I say? Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> well, wasn't it Glenn Red Cameron? Yeah. Of course it was. Playing off the uh, old TV show Soul Train and a swing and a miss at 97 miles per hour and that velocity creeping up again as the game goes on. Happen. But with a new rule, all bets wow. are off. Marte and the Pirates have gotten a little over anxious here with Lincecum. To right field. Foul ball, come on. Fair ball. Hector Sanchez into second base with a double. Strikes him out. Four punch outs for Lincecum. Because some of those have been as a DH, which shouldn't even count, should it, Bob? Absolutely not. This ball lined to right field, and that's a fair ball. Brandon Belt getting healthy. In terms of his batting, and there's a throw toward the plate. They're going to get Belt going into third. He is going to make the last out of third base after he doubles in a pair of runs to make it a 4 3 ball game. Yeah. The, the ball beats yeah. you, get the ball down. I mean, that's the way it's right. always been. You know, guys have been, you know, playing like that forever, but not anymore. I, I don't I, I th th think I heard that somewhere. I mean, it's been going along for a but, long time. But that's time. interesting. He's forced to choose a school because of that. In the second. And the line drive in a right center field by Travis Snyder. He's on base for the third time. And this will be a two base hit, maybe three. A little stutter step around second. Lunchbox. Eats some dirt. With a trip, trip, triple. Six or more innings. Going into last night's game since his start against the Cardinals back on the 25th of April. And he starts off Brandon Hicks with a strikeout. Six punch outs now for Cole. Awfully confident hitter. Take two. He struck him out to end his day. Garrett Cole. And raise it. Take two of three from the Giants. Now the Pirates are going back to a recipe that worked so often last year. Get behind great starting pitching. 
Well, this is the first time a Pirate starter has won a game since April the 17th. 